tonight. A lot of people in Vancouver have some questions after a man is found shot several times and his killer is still on the loose. Fernando Sendejas Pardo's body was discovered in his apartment early Monday morning and our Emily Sinovic live in Vancouver with more in this crime alert. Emily? Well, Jeff, I can tell you that neighbors were pretty rattled when they found out this had turned into a homicide investigation. It was very shocking. I mean, I just, I don't know if it's like safe to live here, but I was, I'm just kind of worried having two kids. This is the voice of a father, a man who lives in the same apartment complex where police found a man shot and killed early Monday morning. He didn't want to show his face or share his name publicly because he's worried about keeping his wife and young daughter safe. He heard noises coming from the apartment where police found the man's body. It just sounded like a little bit loud, like people were moving stuff. It didn't sound like any struggling was going on. It just sounded like people were moving stuff. He saw police cars, but did not know police were looking for a shooter who killed his neighbor. It was more than a day later that police alerted you about a killer on the loose. This is Emily Sinovic with Coin6 News. I called Vancouver police, and when I didn't hear back, I stopped by their department offices just a few blocks from the crime scene to get answers. Later this afternoon, the public information officer told me she had been in meetings all day, and she would not go on camera to discuss the timeline of this specific investigation. She did explain over the phone that patrol officers are the first responders to the call. But they have to wait for homicide detectives to get there and secure a warrant before they then can go in and process the scene and then determine if the death is a homicide. Somebody's like on the loose, it's kind of scary. I guess they should make people aware, but I guess in the same time, they're not trying to just scare, overly scare people too much. Now families nearby are on alert. So right now, detectives need your help. They want to know if you were in the area around Nicholson and Falk Road early Monday morning, saw anything suspicious, may have some home surveillance video that you can share, contact Vancouver Police. We have all of that information on our website at coin.com. Reporting live in Vancouver, I'm Emily Sinovic, Coin 6 News. Okay.